In this video, we will demonstrate how XLoader is able to compromise a system to run silently and steal information such as clipboard content, credentials stored on popular browsers, serve as a keylogger and collect screenshots from the victim's machine. As usual, we have configured this machine in audit-only mode to provide visibility on the particular features of this malware. As soon as we execute, we are going to see how it runs a complex process in memory to check the environment, which is detected by our uh, memory uh, protection module and uh, could be with the proper policy prevented by it. When satisfied, it then uh, migrates to a system process. As we can see here, it's still running the XLoader uh, routine, but then it migrates into xploder.exe or potentially to other, uh, another list of system processes, um, specifying read or write permissions on its request to get the ability to conduct code injection. If we go into our root cause analysis, we can see this whole process by looking at the root cause analysis via uh, BlackBerry Optics, uh, where we can get a step-by-step -step view of, of what just happened. In here, we can see the initial payload and uh, the seven, six to seven different steps that it takes. And we can easily see all the different things that it runs in memory. Um, step by step here, we can see how the process starts and then all the different routines that it runs in memory to satisfy the environmental uh, conditions to, to execute. We can see here how it interacts with the set thread context uh, and runs uh, multiple other operations uh, in memory, ultimately uh, exiting the process from the system. In here, we can then see how the explorer.exe, the actual xloader, gets migrated into this explorer.exe and then continues with the actions on the system. If we take a look at the different actions taken by this malware, we can actually see how it tries to dump the credentials from the system and all of that it's conducted silently on the system to, to prevent any type of noise that can uh, help the, the victim identify that has been uh, that the system has been compromised. Let's travel back, travel back in time to October 2015 to test our temporal predictive advantage in a system with no access to internet or any updates. We will go ahead and copy the original file that we tested a few moments ago. As soon as we try to execute the file, we can easily predict and prevent this from executing on the system. Now let's try with 96 different variants that we have here with XLoader um, with equal or more capabilities than the ones that we have uh, analyzed before. Here you can see 96 different uh, samples and as usual, we will try to execute all of this one by one in the system to see how our machine learning models are able to identify and prevent these files. As we can see here, we run 96 different samples of XLoader and all of them were stopped by our machine learning models from six years ago. Prevention is possible with BlackBerry.